Hey guys, Moderator here. Uh, today we're going to be working on our uh, walkthrough, part 1, Escape from Helgen. Uh, well, first we just have to start the new game, and in this video I'm pretty sure we're going to go with, uh, well, the race and class of this game will be a high elf mage. Um, now, reason why high elf is because the high elf it has extra magica, so... Well, it's just obvious that you should go with a high elf if you want to be a mage. Some people might like might like to call this class a pure mage, pure mage because we uh, work through spells and only spells rather than uh, having like a dagger in one hand and a and a destruction spell in the left hand. You could say. So we'll be used uh, and this. Mm, pure mage will be a fairly aggressive pure mage, so I might be dying a lot in this game um, because we will be using uh, flame spells rather than a def more of a defensive spell like a uh, like frost. We'll be using flames rather than anything else. But uh, the thing with flames is, is that at one point targets will run away, which some people might not like that. But if you can kill them fast enough, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, um, and we'll just be working on our character, and I'll uh, talk to you guys through why I did, why, why I do this, why I do that, and if you guys think it's wrong, you can always send me a message, tell me why I'm wrong, and why I'm a retard, blah blah blah. Doesn't really matter. Um, so, uh, well, one one reason why I don't really like Kyle's is because they're ugly as hell. <laughs> they're fuck ugly, but uh, if you kind of play around with them a little, you can make them look not so bad and anyways with your armor and all that you'll uh, kind of hide them up a little uh, I don't know even why I care about my character's appearance it doesn't really matter and uh, we'll just <coughs> we'll in, in this walkthrough we'll just be walking through and I'll tell you guys uh, well if you, if you if you guys are a pure mage and you guys are just starting out in Skyrim maybe so, some things I tell you guys might be useful Maybe it's not useful. Maybe I'm actually telling you guys pure bullshit, and you can just, uh, if you want, you can just message me and tell me that I'm a moron. Like I said, um, and some parts will be uh, cutting through, so we want uh, to kind of get through the climactic areas and the really important story parts in in the uh, in Skyrim. So uh, we'll be skipping through here and there. Uh, we'll be uh, we'll, uh, we'll have, uh, well, we'll still, uh, I'll still show you guys, uh, parts where, in, parts in this where they talk, sorry, my bad guys, <laughs> I'm trying to focus on two things at once here, um, I don't know why I'm actually, uh, looking at this guy's appearance so much, but whatever, and now it's time to name our character, we'll name our character, um, let's see, what should I name my character? Uh, I think we'll name him Galadriel, Galadriel, whatever, however you like to say it. I don't care. Uh, it's kind of like uh, a male version of Galadriel from uh, Lord of the Rings. Ha! Uh, whatever. Kind of copying them off there. I don't really care. Uh, it's just a character name. If anything, I should have put moderators on there. And uh, well, here's where the uh, send you off to um, chop your head off so um, oh by the way guys uh, we'll also be taking the storm well we'll be joining the storm cloaks rather than the imperial legion because uh, I honestly like the storm cloaks a little better because the imperial legion kind of tries to chop your head off right here so they're gonna so fuck these assholes they're gonna try to chop my head off I'm just gonna say fuck you I'm joining the storm cloaks I'm gonna kill you myself um, and I did say we we're going to be a pure mage, but, uh, well, pure, pure mage usually just, uh, focuses on destruction spells. We'll be kind of focusing on destruction spells and illusion spells and a little bit of restoration on the side. Um, and we'll try to focus on some enchanting, uh, so we can, uh, switch to heavy armor at one point. So we, uh, a little more survivability in that case because more armor and uh, so we'll just disenchant what we have on our robes put it on our heavy armor it's kinda a smart thing to do I, I would think but maybe some people just like to have our mages on robes 
at the beginning just takes so long and they're, ju they're just trying to chop people's heads off here so and clearly we don't get our head chopped off, chopped off here but this guy does um, so the reason why I want to be an illusionist mage in this game is because of uh, invis invisibility once you become an expert illusionist and uh, you can always calm enemies so you can kind of uh, Oh, well, at one point, illusion, is, uh, illusion spells become, uh, have an AoE effect, so then you can c kind of calm down a lot of the uh, NPCs around you, so then you can, instead of tanking the whole mob at once, you can uh, take them down one at a time, or some, some people might say I should go with Destruction, Restoration, and Conjuration, so I can have uh, s someone else kind of tank the mob for me, but an illusion you'll be taking them on uh, one at a time anyway so conjuration you don't need to have if you have illusion but that's only at one point and invisibility can always help you so you can I do have a nightblade character that I use at one point uh, which is kind of a mixture between a mage and a thief which can uh, well it's kind of like an illusionist thief <coughs> sorry guys Anyways, uh, well, illusion is thief, so you can cast like invisibility, and you can kind of uh, calm down your enemies, c kind of thing, and then you can uh, slice their throats off, slice their throats off. You can slit their throat, maybe decapitate them, whatever you like to do. But uh, well, since I'm a mage, you're gonna be flinging fireballs at their faces. So we, we'll so you'll fling fireballs at their faces one at a time through illusion, or even with invisibility, you can, uh, you can kind of. Instead of fighting off the NPCs, I don't know how illusion invisibility really works per se, but it doesn't really matter. And here's all Ulfric Stormcloak. I'm pretty sure that's his name, anyways. Uh, so what m most of this uh, walkthrough part one here, uh, Escape from Helgen, the, this quest you'll mostly be following Randolph, except for when you get separated right here when you have to jump down. You're gonna have to. Uh, jump down and make your way to the keep instead of following the storm cloak uh storm cloaks my bad guys uh the imperial legion so if you run through it all uh instead of join uh, well you'll pretty much momentarily being with the imperials so then you just go to the keep and here you here you are with uh randolph and uh they'll uh well he'll take your bindings off first of all and you're pretty much join the storm storm cloaks right here instead of joining them later on in the game and well like you you'll have the choice between uh the uh imperial legion and the storm cloaks i'm most likely a storm cloaks because you know they're uh, imperial legion is kind of gay for some reason i don't know what you could say here um, and, well, for your first armor, well, you're going to be taking this guy's armor for now until you reach the torture's room chamber, whatever you like to call it, the torture chamber. Um, well, until you reach there, and then and they're, they're going to get your robes, their first set of robes, until you uh, get, get to your first dungeon, I guess. And uh, right now, we're just waiting for the Imperial Legion to show up to open the door for us and uh... we just have to wait a second uh... sorry guys just pausing a little bit there um... here we are alright perfect now they're just gonna show up they, they don't even know we're here so we'll just uh... there she is the freaking captain who tried to kill me i'll kill you and uh... We're running out of stamina i guess whatever uh, so just kill the captain uh, oh she's already dead whoops my bad she kinda looked alive there considering the way she was she was on the wall um, yeah so just take her key just in case you want that you can take all her stuff um, some people do t uh, like one, one of my friends did tell me about this ratio that I should uh, like, like I should only have a uh, certain amount of weight per amount of gold in my backpack as in like as an item weighs one pound it should uh, uh, be worth a certain amount and I was like where the hell did you hear this but whatever and here we actually kill the uh, torture guy here's the we're in the torture chamber sorry guys it was uh, a little drifted off in that story uh, so 
if you guys want to pick up everything, you can pick up everything uh, and sell it later, or you can just pick up a, a certain amount of stuff that costs a certain amount of stuff, a certain amount of gold, sorry. Um, anyways, take the book and go to this pack sack. There will be uh, lock picks, so you can open this door here. Uh, novice, uh, novice, uh, sorry, okay, novice lock picking is, uh, well, you just have to turn the, uh, lock pick to 45 degrees but that's pretty much how they all work and here's your uh, robes that you'll be using until you uh, get to a certain uh, level so uh, well there was a tome for uh, shock you'll be using well we won't be using that because flames is actually less well uses less magicka but has same damage and not many uh, have uh, not, not many of these NPCs in this dungeon at least have uh, have a uh, have uh, magic. So, what's the point of draining Magicka with uh, shock when you could just use uh, when you could just use this? So we'll just. I think that's really daunting about using flames. Is that it takes forever to kill someone and it uses well a lot of Magicka, not really. And we'll just light the floor on fire, kill this guy. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, and now just kill this guy, no problem. Easy peasy. Um, just wait for Randolph over here. There you go. Um, and then you just press on to the jun dungeon. Uh, well, you just pretty much follow wherever. Anyways, now we're in the s now we're in the spider room. Uh, you just spam your fire at their faces. Try to kill them. Um, I don't. I won't loot them because I don't really find any use in looting them. You might think I'm a retard for that. I don't know. I don't really care about looting them. Um, and you could always uh, get gold elsewhere anyways. Uh, think about... Well, one thing I really like about uh, mages is that you'll pretty much kill them before they even reach you anyways. Oh, here's the bear room. And some people would just like to sneak by this bear instead of... Uh, Killing it, I'll kill it, and, uh, well, as you can see, it was pretty easy. And now we're pretty much at the end of the walkthrough, where we just escaped Helgen, and you just follow the path down to the Mage Stone here. Uh, well, of course, we'll be taking the Mage Stone, because we're a Mage, and then there's the Warrior Stone and the Thief Stone. And those are the first three stones that dot Skyrim's landscape, as, uh, some of you might know. And Mage Stone gives you, uh, t well, uh, helps you learn med magic spells 20% faster anyways so uh see you guys later um well that's part one of our walkthrough and that's about it guys see you guys later